Sonoma County Fair. This is the Diamond Jubilee, a celebration of the past, present, and future of the fair. This year's fair from July 27th to August 14th will be, a se will be 17 days of fun with wine county country racing, headline entertainment, spectacular carnival rides, junior and professional livestock shows, and so much more. The Hall of Flowers will be a tribute to the, to the best of the best flower shows from the past years. Free entertainment will include an old style uh, vaudeville show, turkey races, and lots more. This summer's Sonoma County Fair Diamond Jubilee will be a time to look back on the past 75 years. Sonoma Fair 75th <laughs> Diamond Jubilee. Let's have a look inside, shall we? Drugs, alcohol, bicycles, skateboards, scooters, or any item determined to be a weapon is not is not permitted on the fairgrounds. About, uh, You're not allowed to bring knives in here, but you can buy them right behind me. I do have it. I'm not trying to put out my Good job. And don't let that. Good job. <laughs> Welcome to the Hall of Flowers. events 
Olympics are all competition between the 4-H, which stands for Hands, Head, Heart, and Health. We are now here with Francesca that has just won fifth place. What do you think? Um, it was fun, but she went a little wild during the show. Do you get scared by the judge when he's watching you? I get nervous before the show, but never. Did you? How long have you been with this sheep of yours? Um, this is our second year showing, and our last year, and I'm breeding her this year, so it's gonna be fun. Okay, well, thank you. This is my cousin over there, the furry, fluffy one. Right. That one is wooly and yeah, a wool breed, and you should. She actually got brand, grand champion with her wolf. Shaves her to her lines just does an awful smooth job moving about the ring. You have a second, very nicely presented, really smooth. This is my third year in the sheep project, but second year showing. I would now like to interview Adam, one of the animals here. So, Adam, uh, what do you think about your job and what you Okay, this is what we're going to call our runoff. Uh, and it's kind of like our finals. As you can see, we've got all the first places in the first three classes and then two of the second places in, in the first three classes. So, um, one of the things that I'm noticing out here is how similar all these showmen present themselves and the animals. I think the two showmen that come to the top for me, if the young man with the Angus heifer down there will come on out. I think the showman really puts the things together that I'm looking for as far as poise and ring presence. He knows where he is. He knows where his animal is. He knows how he looks. He knows what, how his animal looks. He also knows about where everybody else's is. Um, I'm going to have this young lady with the commercial heifer come out next. And she'll be your second place in this. Um, just a heifer that is always presented well, she's always poised. The young lady uh, doesn't really have to do a lot because she spent so much time before here to have this heifer show and act the way she does. I think my dog Henry could easily do this. I, I'm going to bring him next year and see how he does. life support truck uh, ready for any person falling off a horse or eating too much this is walking on water it is really really fun but it is a lot harder to stand up than it looks Qualities? Well, you know, you gotta have to be able to watch television and a lot of mindless television because there's a lot of mindless television out there and eat some junk food and stuff like that. What's your favorite type of junk food? Well, I'm partial to a peanut butter sandwich, but some people say that's not junk food enough, you know. And that's what I like. What, what's your favorite thing to watch on the television? Well, there's so many things to watch, Will. I, just, I, I don't have a favorite thing anymore. Now, back in 1988, when I originally did this, television was a lot different. There was no reality TV. 
If you said you were going to do a TV show about men with beards, they would have laughed you out of Hollywood. Now they got a TV show coming out next fall, Men with Beards, my next claim to fame. So is, is that the, the original TV? That TV is not very hip modern. I got a lot of young guys your age coming over going, dude, the TV in my bedroom's bigger than that one. So, thank you. Sure thing. You have a good time at the fair. Thanks. Here we are now at the turkey races. Let's have a look. We have three teams for you to cheer for. The red team, the white team, and the blue team. So we're going to get started by bringing out our first competitors. These are our eight-year-old Tom turkeys. They're molting and growing in new feathers, too. You can see the new ones coming in. They're so pretty. Now, the red turkey in front is called a bourbon red. They are a beautiful, rare breed of turkey that comes from bourbon, Kentucky. Cowboy Gill, are you ready? Yes, I am. Okay, here we go. Come on, turkeys, let's go. All right, here we go. Look at that white guy. He's like, yeah, look at me. Blue's off to kind of a slow start there. Red's got a nice little gallop going, but here comes the blue on the black side. Things have been tough recently with the economy and all, oh, but a trip to the Sonoma County the Fair will yeah, definitely like brighten up your spirits. Even the 4-H events alone will make you realize just how great our country's future is. See you all next year at the Sonoma County Fair. Okay, this is my idea. I'm gonna go get the couch potato a funnel cake and see what he thinks. Yeah. Hey, you better have some corn. Yes. Oh, no problem. I got to um, put it on the stove. It's gonna take about you know three or four minutes to cook. <laughs> I was buying new Hawaiian shirts. You gotta get the right shirt for the job. So, Will, did you come up with some more questions? Are you planning on going into communications? No? Thought of what school you might want to go to? No. That's a good way to keep it. Alright, keep it open. <laughs> Thanks for the funnel cake. <laughs>